Josiah yeah. Cole. I mean, we, we've seen him. I think his first fight with us was on short notice, right? And he came in here and he wowed us with his performances. I mean, he stopped a good wrestler with a knee to the sternum. He's a dangerous, dangerous dude. And I mean, his coaches say, hey, it's time to go pro. And I, I can't really disagree with them. So going against a, a three fight pro veteran in his first professional debut is a tall task. And so with Josiah, we're gonna see if, you know, if, if he's cut his teeth enough in this promotion to see what he's capable of here now that he's ascended to the pro ranks. entertaining fighter and, uh, absolutely high energy always in shape yeah i mean and, he's taking uh, short notice fights and stuff but now i think now he has a full camp under him so again it's going to be intriguing to see what he looks like here in the, with the professional rule set as we introduce his opponent Vinny Rostaglio. Now, please welcome to the cage Vinny Rostaglio. and as you were saying earlier about Vinny, listen Vinny is 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 really strong he's He's tough everywhere, yeah. and uh, don't let the one and two deceive you about right. his talent and toughness. Yeah, I mean, he's lean and mean. He looks in some of the leanest I've ever seen him, actually. Um, and I, I mean, he said he feels great. He's, he said he's gained about 10 pounds since the, uh, the rehydration stuff, which in my opinion is a little light. Normally I gain close to 20 overnight, but again, that doesn't always mean you're gonna perform well. If you're just bigger, it doesn't mean you're better, so. You know, maybe this is what feels good for Vinny. So we're going to see, you know, how he feels in there. Either he's going to look strong and have great cardio, or he, or he could look big, frail, and get dropped with the first strike. You, you never know when it comes to these sort of weight cuts. Or maybe he's undersized for the division. But I will tell you one thing. When it comes to Vinny Orstaglio, he is strong. He is very, very strong. If, if he has a fault, he's a little tentative on the feet. But he, he's patient, to, almost to a fault. He's too patient. So sometimes he's got to just let it go in there. So, again, wish they wouldn't mess up his hair like that, but what are you going to do? Oh, so, yes, Jillian Peterson, who oh, trains over at MBR, she is not a fan of his haircut. She despises his haircut, but, you know, what are you going to do? That is shit is wild. I heard that if Vinny wins tonight, that his coach, Eric Purcell, is going to get the same hairdo. <laughs> well, here we go. Hey, Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is brought to you by OMG Chicken, and it is a professional bout set for three five-minute rounds of war. Introducing to you first, out of the blue corner, standing to my right, he weighed in at 143.3 pounds. He represents Jiu-Jitsu One and Chalk D, Athletics Muay Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, over there training with Stripling. Pennsylvania, yeah. making his debut. Pro debut right here at Art of War 34. This is Josiah, student of the game. Slow. His opponent, out of the red corner to my left, he weighed in at 145 pounds. He represents MPR and HOA BJJ. He comes to us with a one and two record and hails from Parkside, Pennsylvania. This is Vinny Oristaglio. <laughs> Your referee is Gasper Oliver. Cage is locked in and we are ready to rumble. Touch. Touch. Co main event here, Art of War Cage fighting 34. Nice feeling out. Yeah, Josiah's got some great hey. kicks. 
he had that he, down. He threw the Joe Stripling on. He, he was like, I can't wait to bomb a head kick in my pro debut, and there he goes. Let's get going forward, forward, forward. Forward without chasing. Oh, nice. nice head kick on his own. Traded three head kicks back to back. That's a hell of a start off. And this is the, you know, the most composed I've seen Vinny look on the feet. Very nice. Here goes. Wow. That was quick. That was very, very quick. Excellent. Good. Take your time here. Take your time. Just a really nice transition there from Vinny, the way he caught the kick, passed it by it, and now he's in top position. Now listen. Watch if he starts trying to turn you for that heel, all right? Watch that heel. His coaches are, are, are making sure he's very well aware of the heel hook danger, the way that his legs are positioned. And Josiah is already fishing for it a little with his hand there, but Vinny recognizes it very quickly and looks to stop it. But right now, Vinny's, Vinny's cool just staying on top. And from, you know, back when I trained with Vinny at Royal Striking, shout out Aaron Meisner, he had a really, really heavy top game. He was, he was hard to get off. Yeah, hey, I like that right arm underhook there. I like that right arm and he's Mad still, scientist, they yeah, call Aaron Meisner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my so, buddy right there, yeah. man. There you go. And there he goes. And again, like, you know, this is what's so frustrating from the amateurs to the pros. It's, it's such a, a different game set, a skill set that you're capable of using. But, you know, right now Vinny's just doing a great job of just smothering Josiah. And he, he went, and that was a bit of a fault on Vinny's part in the sense that he went for damage and lost the top control positioning. Whereas, you know, maybe if he was willing to, to smother a little more, but, oh, I thought, I thought he was gonna go right for the same takedown. Man, nice Vinny just has, he has like an affinity for catching oh, yeah. Josiah's right kick. And I mean, you, you have to imagine as a southpaw, people are gonna bomb the right kick at you. So Vinny has clearly developed a skill of catching and returning that kick, be it with punches or takedowns. Big head kick there. Thought he blocked it pretty well there. And he pulls him back. And there he goes with the takedown. Man. Yo, Vinny kicked the shit I, out of his elbow. I gotta say, foot. Vinny, Vinny is looking the best he's ever looked yeah, he looks good. in an MMA fight, in Girl, my opinion. The work, the work that he's done with Eric Purcell and the guys at NPR MMA watch. is clearly showing. He's taking his MMA career yes, very, very seriously very now. Nice. And listen, he, hey, he's had problems with weight in the past. He weighed right on 145. He doesn't have any issues here, and he looks no, like he's, he's in great shape. Good. He's like I said, he's deceiving. He's, he's way better than a one and two fight record. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. Oh, a nice back elbow by Josiah to an open mouth out. Just stay top, stay high, stay doing a good job of kind of holding stay Josiah high, in place here. Jo Josiah is trying to attack the legs, but this is one of those places where, in my opinion, the last place you want to be in an MMA fight, unless you're like an Imanari or like an AJ Deshani, like you don't want to be here unless you can really yeah, utilize leg locks. Because look, think, what what kind of leg lock defense is this? Punching you in the face. It's not. It's yeah, something that got, if you're not used a couple, to. Bink, bink, bink. Yeah. He's starting to lump up the forehead here of Josiah. He's leaving a couple hematomas already. And, and again, Tomlinson's whatever. Yes. Um, and, and he just lets him up. And again, Vinny, he just looks really composed here. Josiah, you know, is very, very tough, but his, his face is already wearing the damage here from from Vinny's punches. Looking a little flowy and ooh. nice. Damn. Laser, laser straight left here from Vinny yeah, Rostaglio. His face looking like some old grits right now, bro. Lumpy as hell. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, shut up. Oh, and Josiah, oh, and he's caught in the guillotine. I don't know, oh, and he Life's taps over. him. Wow. Damn. Man, Damn. I told you, Rostaglio has a squeeze. He is yeah, heavy. He, that is crazy. What a performance here by Vinny Oristaglio. Holy smokes. Josiah blasted the double, and Vinny just caught that gilly quick. Dustin Poirier smiling right now. In the gilly we trust, because, man, what a submission. That was fast. Holy smokes. I think he got hit in his junk, though. Oh, yeah, I, I think he took a low blow on the way in or something. Said his groin hurts or something like that, but small price to pay for getting the dub. 
But yeah, couldn't couldn't be happier. He's you know with with all the guys from House of Arts over there, Eric Purcell, you know st his striking coach John Robinson and Anthony and uh, shout out Julian Pizzetta. But he's looking really really sharp in there, and I'm really excited to see what he does next. Because I mean that was the best Vinny Orstagler we've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, that was nice. And you know he kind of showed like, hey, don't sleep on me. You're not gonna, just gonna you know step up and just kind of. You're not just gonna run me over and use me as a pros prospect feeder, you know? Because Josiah Suarez is very good, and he's no, a prospect. Suarez, I mean, he's, I, that's why he's one of my favorite fighters, yeah. art of war fighters. And he's a great guy. Look at that, great guys in there. But I mean, man, he caught him in such a tight eating. Then he's got to squeeze. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this contest came to a close at four minutes and twenty-four seconds in round number one. Your winner by tap out to the guillotine choke, Vinny. Let's give Vinny some love, Vinny. There you go, baby. Listen, Ryan Kafar over here was saying he thought it was the most impressive performance that you've had. And that was before the finish. He thought you looked really good and composed. You had a great game plan that you guys put together over there. You executed it well, finished it off. How you feeling, brother? Uh, I feel phenomenal. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say too much, but, you know, uh, Eric Purcell and NPR has my game feeling on another level. And uh, also thank you to everybody at HOA and all my teammates and training partners and all that. Guys, my record doesn't speak, you know, about who I am as a fighter, so stick with me. Well, when you hear the commentary, you'll hear me say the same thing. I said, don't listen to that one and two record. He's way tougher than that. He just had some bad luck. You're two and two now. We're going to get a quick turn around and hopefully see you in here soon. Listen, featherweight is loaded. There's a lot of fighters in the area right now at featherweight. You're right there with all that talent or work. Possibly see you back quickly. I got something going on right now, but yeah, let me figure that out and I'll get back to you guys. Well, enjoy that victory, Vinny. Very impressive. Vinny Orstaglio!